All right, so just get me to damsels in distress. What's what? what where did it? What made you do this movie? Well, or take a, on this. It's an idea I had for a while. Um, I'd heard a story about girls like this who um, changed everything where I went to college, and I went back to visit, and everyone said, "Oh, it's so much better now." Because um, when my day I was really grungy and stupid and boring and unsocial. Oh, like the girls, the, like this clique of girls. <clears throat> there had been a group of girls who changed film, everything, right? mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they wore perfumes. They're known by their perfume. I don't want to mention the brand. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that would be. Okay. And everyone had just so much fun with them, and they changed mm -hmm. the whole environment. So I thought this would be a good idea for a film at some point. And finally, I got around to telling the wonderful people at Castle Rock. Uh, Martin Schaefer and Liz Glasser mm -hmm. about it. And they didn't do it as a cast rock film, they did it as their own film, privately. That's great. And the, the tell, tell me about like music for you and, and there's- It's really important for us in our films. Right. I mean, I think this one, people are acknowledging it's a musical, but I consider all the films musicals. Mm -hmm. It's musicals as you can do mm -hmm. them now. Mm -hmm. And when you're writing it, are you thinking of, um, the rhythm of how it's gonna be delivered? Or? Yeah, <clears throat> I try to sort of, talk things out in my head and see how that's gonna work. And how many processes, how many times has that happened before you get to something you're happy with? I mean, really a lot. I mean, in this case, it did go much faster at the end than normal. And people said, you know, you're introducing all this material, you know, long scenes with new material in the last third and, and that's not gonna work. And I couldn't, I didn't have time to do much with that. But in the editing room, we had to kind of do the rewrite for the last third, and that's why mm -hmm. I think the editing took longer than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference for me is just it, obviously in your writing and how it all kind of weaves together, and actually Annalise said it's like a puzzle, but it is like, they all fit in. I mean, I feel that, so you know, I will lie and fib and exaggerate and exclude information in real life, but when it comes to writing a script, I feel we have to tell the truth, and often you make a statement, or have a character make a statement, which will be interpreted as an attempt at truth. But then you immediately realize that that's really not true in all cases. So you can have that the other character. And that's kind of how, how the dialogue gets started. It's sort of the debate between two, two points of view. In our film, the culmination of that is sort of towards the end, where um, um, Lily and Violet, meaning Greta and mm -hmm. Amelie, debate um, cool and uncool, original mm -hmm. and unoriginal. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Have you been enjoying being back in the throes of it? I don't know yet. I don't think know, yeah. so. So far, so well, good. Well, you've had Venice, and now... Had, I mean, Venice is just a dream. I'd never been, you know, we'd never had a film selected for an A Festival. Mm -hmm. And not only were we selected for the A Festival, we were put in the closing night, which seemed very glorious, and we got a lot of coverage. But then I heard, oh, there's a closing night jinx where things don't turn out well. And then it turned out really well. So we, we dodged a bullet, apparently, and it was very good over there. Okay, and now Toronto. Well, it's great... Um, to have fun with it. I hope you Thanks enjoy so. it. Yeah, it's I been hope fun you so are far. having a good time with we it. And it's great to see you Thanks back so. and it's great to meet you and um, damsels in distress. Thank you. Yeah.